Good afternoon, YouTube and Rumble. Took a little trip in a um, kayak I got, another different kayak, down to the river. Uh, went from home base here down to the little town of Triana, which is on the Tennessee River. There's a wildlife refuge, really just any swampy lowland all along the river here. And there's several different boat launches that you can dip into the river and um, paddle up various creeks. And mostly I wanted to see if this, um, this kayak floated the way I want it to. And uh, I did have it out there last year and everybody said to bounce the seat up. Let's go take a look. This is it, the Ascent 12T. Um, everybody said you shouldn't leave the seat down in the kayak if you're gonna fish out of it, which I wanna try and do. So what I did was I modified it with these pieces of metal and I mounted it on this and then I put these, tied it with these zip ties and then didn't realize that I weigh 194 pounds and it broke the zip ties and spilled me into the bottom of the, of the kayak. So back to the drawing board, came back here and put these, um, these plumber's clamps on here. You know, you can look at them there and tied them on here. And then this other guy on YouTube has a thing where he just bolts this in place and then the seat just comes right out like that. So, I don't know, a couple screws on either side, and this is a standard, like a home deadbolt like you would get at the hardware store for about three bucks. And in other words, got my, got my seat set up and riding, I took this thing out on the lake for about an hour, a little more than that. And it, it's, it's like being in a um, lazy boy at home. It's really comfortable, really easy to sit in. Did find that this kayak does not track very well. So if you paddle it in one direction and you stop paddling like you want to throw a um, you know throw a, a fish hook out there, it, it just tends to go off to one side or another. And that in the creek I was in, it usually is a bunch of brush. So <laughs> end up getting stuck in a bunch of brush. And so next year, next time I go, I'm gonna bring an anchor. I might even put a uh, trolling motor on the back of this thing because I've seen people do that on YouTube as well. Anyway, got some video from the from the creek. Y'all have a good day. All right, here we are out on Indian Creek, um, just past the town of Triana, next to the Tennessee River, and we're going to see how far this thing goes, and might try tossing a hook in the water. Yeah, literally a perfect day for this kind of thing. Perfect temperatures. And it does make me wonder whether I am a fair weather sailor or not. Anyway, it's a very nicely shaded creek and um, uh, out here testing this canoe, this kayak. And first of all, I put a seat on it. It's pretty cool and it seems to be working quite well. Really pretty out here. Very pleased with the way the seat modification took on this thing. And I'm just gonna paddle up here and see how far this thing goes and then come back and 
maybe try and catch a fish or two. It's the Tennessee River and there's the boat launch and you can't stay out here without being real careful. They have power boats out here and they, they run barges up and down on this river too. So um, you can't stay out here in a kayak, you'll get run over. And I can, I can feel the current, it's pretty strong coming from that direction. So we're not just sitting here. I need to paddle my butt back into the boat launch. Um, yeah, a lot of water out here, but the kayak floats fine. It handles okay. It uh, doesn't track quite as well as I'd like. I might need to put a, a rudder on it or something because it, you got to keep paddling if you want it to stay straight. And it tends to, if you stop paddling, it tends to drift in the nearest brush pile if you're trying to cast a fishing line. <laughs> so, um, probably need to get me an anchor. Anyway, really pretty out here. I'm going to pull the kayak in and stretch my legs. A lot of people out here fishing. And we, we are moving pretty quick. Anyway, let me uh, sign off for now. Y'all have a good one.